This is a video for Sound Holistic Health, an introduction to the patient portal access. So our patient portal can be accessed in one of two ways. First, from our website, which is www.shhclinic.com, and following the link to patient portal, which you would click here. And the second option is by going to optimantra.com, which you can see here, and you come to this page, you get a login, and then you select patient login. And both of those areas will take you to this screen here. And if it's the first time that you've signed up for our patient portal, for first time accessing it, you're going to select new sign up. And this window will appear where you can type in the email address that you gave to the front desk when you registered as a new patient or the email address that you used when signing up for a virtual visit. And then you select an email me and you'll get an email with instructions to create a password. And then you'll come back here, type in your email and your password, select login. You can also select forgot password if you can't remember what your password was. Then once you log in, you'll come to the home screen, which you'll see here is the home and there's a line underneath it. On the left-hand side is all the areas of information that patients need to fill out, whether you're new or established patient. And you'll know whether or not this information has been completed or updated by this column on the right here. As you can see, not completed and last updated. Then there's also a shortcut area, which has a drop-down menu with different features that you can access, which I'll go over, over in a minute. First, we're going to start off by all of these areas that the patients need to complete. First area is the demographic profile. So demographics refers to your name, your date of birth, your address, and contact information. There's also an area for payment information here as well. So you would put your contact information here. And if you're set up for recurring payments with us for paying balances or for virtual visits, this is where pay secure payment information would be entered. So you can enter in the card information or update a card with um, expiration date, security code, etc. Select update. And then you go back to the home screen here. Next area is past clinical history. Select that. It's going to see a patient profile, clinical profile here. Some of your information here. You're going to select edit clinical profile on the right. And this is where you would fill out information here. And this normally you just do once unless there's any changes to surgeries or allergies, uh, etc. And you're going to fill out all of this, your surgical history, um, major history about yourself and your family, if you know of that, reproductive health. And then you're going to click select save. And that will take you back to the home screen. Next areas are our consent forms. There are two consent forms here and in the future um, you may or may not see one that has to do with giving consent for charging the credit cards and that would only be if you're set up for recurring payments or if you often use our virtual visit for um, services online. So the consent form will look something like this where you have to read the information, you scroll down to the bottom, type that in, fill that out, and then you're going to want to select save again, and that will bring you back to the home screen here. Same thing with this consent form here. Next is our insurance coverage checklist, which is a handy tool for those that um, are using insurance for our services. You would call your insurance company, and usually the customer service number on the back of your card, and you can use these questions to walk through to um, ask the insurance rep about the different services that we offer as well as your coverage. And then as you're on the call, you can type in information here. So this is helpful for us as well as for you. And then select save. Last area is our office policies and privacy terms, um, which is information here about cancellation, our insurance billing practices, labs, and so forth. And then you're going to select save. The bottom. Sometimes if you don't see that save button, you're just going to want to expand that window. But there's generally always going to be a save or update button and areas where you fill out information. So next we're going to move on to the areas in the shortcuts. So the first is messages. 
Currently we have the option to message our naturopathic physician, so you'd select recipient. Um, do Dr. Thompson, for example, and you'll just pay attention to any notes up here, which um, is from the providers, just letting you know how to interact with um, this service here. For instance, Dr. Thompson is asking that patient, um, you know, send messages within a week of their most recent visit, otherwise they'll have to schedule a visit with her, and um, that this is not a space to communicate about life-threatening emergencies. So you've selected the provider, now you're gonna to go to create message over on this right-hand side, type in the subject, the message, and then select save. Then the message will appear down here. And then you'll get an email once your provider has responded to you. So once you have a message from the provider, you can log back into the portal and you'll see that the messages will appear kind of like they do on texting or chat, chat windows. Next area we're gonna go is to treatment plans. So the treatment plan is those sheets of paper or emails that you get um, with the information that you discussed with your doctor, you know, like different supplements to take or practices, exercises, so forth. So you'll see the provider on the left, the date of the visit, and then you select print, and that will open up a new window with a PDF that you can download or print for yourself. Next area, we're gonna cover documents and handouts. <clears throat> And the documents feature is if, for instance, you went to another doctor's office or you have something that you wanna to talk to the doctor about, or for instance, the front desk has asked you to send us a front and back copy of your insurance card. So you put in either today's date or the date of your visit. You'd select browse, and then you would include that file here, and then you can label it as probably, you know, patient communication or something else. And then you would select upload file and then it'll show down here. This handout area is if um, providers have created a specific handout for you or for just patients in general that might be related to diet, nutrition, exercise, or anything like that. <coughs> super bills. So super bills are the term that insurance and um, medical practices use to refer to receipts and um, like the things that you get when you pay for supplements as well as services or co-pays or co-insurance at the clinic. So you would have the provider listed here, PDF, the Superville, the date that was created, and you can download those. Um, let's say you've lost the paper version or something like that. And appointments. So in this area, you would see future scheduled appointments. Um, for the Sound Holistic Health, it would be all the doctors um, and then, for instance, if you see Jim Burr, you could click on this and it would show any points that you have with Jim. If you'd like to schedule with any of the doctors or with Jim, um, you can select Sound Holistic Health for the doctors and Jim for GMC Burr Acupuncture. And you select Schedule Appointment and select the option that you would like for a visit. Um, right now, we just have the virtual visits listed that may change. And then you'll be able to see the providers that offer the service that you selected. And you'll pay attention to these notes in the area because that will give you more information about the doctor as well as their um, any additional information about online booking. Currently, you can see that we have one provider here that's offering that service. And Dr. Thompson has availability in these days and these times. So you look at the day and then you select the time that you want. It's gonna bring you to the screen. And if you're logged into the portal, it's gonna autofill your information and again, for virtual visits, we require <clears throat> that card to secure that spot. And then you would select proceed after putting in all the information in, and then I will confirm it, and then you'll get an email. So we're gonna go back to the home screen here. And that is the introduction to our patient portal. If you have any questions or concerns about accessing this, you can definitely reach out to our front desk staff, either by calling the clinic or sending an email to the front desk. And um, we thank you so much for watching and for being a patient of Sound Holistic Health. You can always follow us on face Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram, and keep an eye out for our website for future updates and videos.